Welcome back to Mr. Gard's Maths class. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at Venn diagrams and two-way tables. Both of these methods are used for showing data that overlaps. An example that we're going to use today is we're going to do a survey of a group of people and we're going to ask whether they like cats or don't like cats and whether they like dogs or don't like dogs. In this case, it is possible to not like either cats or dogs, or you could be in the group of you like cats and you like dogs, or you could simply like one and not the other. In other words, there is a different way of overlapping information. I'm going to include uh, a set of data that I have made up. So because I'm not doing this with an actual class, I'm going to make up some data here. So let's assume that we have eight people in a survey group that like both cats and dogs. We have two people that don't like either, six that like dogs but don't like cats, and five that like cats and don't like dogs. We need to set up a nice, neat table that looks like this. Looking at this information, we can work out how many people are in this class set. Each person in the class can fit in one of those four boxes. He can't fit in any two. So now we have these total columns on the left, oh, on the right and along the bottom. So all we need to do is add up under each one. So on the right, up where my cursor is, the number of people that like dogs in total are 14 people. There are seven people that don't like dogs. So you either fit in the you like dogs or you don't like dogs category. Vice versa, with the cats, we have 13 people like cats, 8 people that don't like cats. Now, in this shaded blue square, you'll find that when we add up each column, they both add to 21. So 14 and 7 and 13 and 8 both add to 21. So there are 21 people in this class group. Using this method, we can do some probability questions like how many, what is the probability that someone likes cats? The probability of someone liking cats is this. So we'll write out probability like cats is equal to the number of people that like cats, which is 13 divided by the total number of people, which is 13, 20 once. We can't simplify that. So that is the probability that someone in this class likes cats. Vice versa, you could do the probability that someone likes cats and dogs would be eight out of 21. There's lots of bits of data that we can pull from this problem. Another example might be how many people like dogs and uh, don't like cats along those lines. So let's carry on because I'm not sure that example worked too well. A Venn diagram is another way. This is where we use a series of circles. It's simply another way of showing the data that we have from the two-way table on the left and putting it into a pretty little circle Venn diagram image. A Venn diagram image can have multiple different circles depending on how many categories we have. What we do when we do this is we draw a big rectangle. The rectangle is important and then in this case, because we're talking about two different events, we've either got the liking or disliking cats and the liking or disliking dogs. The way it will work is we have a circle for the cats 
for liking cats, a circle for the dogs. If you don't like either cats or dogs, you put a number outside of both circles. So in this case, in the rectangle. So according to our information, the number that don't like cats or dogs is two. So I'm gonna put a two down here because those two people do not fit inside those circles. Now where the circles overlap in this bit is the number of people that like cats and like dogs. So in our scenario, we have eight people fit in there. We have six people that like dogs but don't like cats. So we have six there. And five people that like cats but don't like dogs. In total, we should have our 21 people allocated somewhere. So a very simple little scenario here is what is the probability that someone either likes just one animal? So the number of opportunities here are six and five because the group of five here only like cats and the group of six only like dogs. So there is 11 out of a total 21 people. So there is your probability for that scenario. The questions that you're going to come across in this unit are going to sometimes be filling in the blanks. As usual, the important aspects are to have your setting out done really neatly. That's pretty much it from this unit. Good luck. Have a go at some of the questions. Thanks for listening.